Peace and blessings. This is Kim Martin Raymond, host of the How Now podcast, where we talk about how to live in the now. And I am here in my hometown of New York City, getting ready to board the F train, heading down to 42nd Street and Times Square, where we'll be kicking off the second season of the How Now podcast. Let's go. Welcome to How Now, the podcast where we talk about how to live in the now. And here's your host, Kim Martin Raymond. Peace and blessings, love and light. It's your girl, Kim Martin Raymond, host of the How Now podcast, where we talk about how to live in the now. And welcome to season two of the How Now podcast. And I am broadcasting live from my hometown in New York City, right here <laughs> at Times Square. <laughs> Check it out. My husband and I grabbed our Metro cards, hopped on the F train, and headed down to Times Square down that long tunnel in the subways that was surprisingly spotless. On our way to Times Square, we passed the New York Library, which was celebrating 125 years in existence. We also had the opportunity to pass by Bryant Park, where a lot of festivities happened, a park right in the middle of the city. Of course, we saw several vendors selling hot dogs, rice dishes, and all other kinds of things, so they were out there in force right around Times Square. We even got to see a bumblebee, (laughs) that is, the Transformer, before finally making it to our destination, Times Square. So I decided while I was there to ask just a few people what they were doing in the now, and here's what they had to say. Okay, brother, tell me your name. My name is Rob. Rob, okay, and how are you living in the now, Rob? Uh, What are you doing to navigate in this space? I'm doing as much as I can while I'm alive. I'm trying to use my energy the best way I can. I try to uh, build small businesses. And, uh, try to employ young people, such as myself, employ myself and employ others. But give them a little more freedom than the everyday job. Yeah. We have to. We have to learn how to manage our time, our energy, and also our minds. Our minds. Uh, All right. Spirit, all that. That's real. Energy. All right. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. All right, so tell me your name, my brother. My name is Jeff. Okay, and how are you living in and now, Jeff? Uh, you know, surviving. Surviving. COVID is still going on. Uh, just trying to make ends meet. I got um, three kids, wife, you know. I'm out here grinding on the street, you know, promoting my it. music. Okay. A little bit of donations. That's how I survive. That's it. I mean, hey, that's all we can do, right? Yes. yes all right, yes. brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. you. All right. Hey, ladies. Okay. So tell me your first name and how you're living in the now. My name is Ashley. Um, living in the now, so I am actually an ER nurse. Okay. So been dealing with COVID for almost two years now. Um, but for me personally, my way of trying to get away is actually traveling, which is kind of opposite of what they've been saying to do. But, yes. you know, I just try to, um, you know, wear my mask and I'm vaccinated and such. But traveling has been my way of trying to, you know, get away from the stress of dealing with COVID and just Absolutely. economy and everything. That's Absolutely. Kind of All right. So she said travel. <laughs> and tell me your first name. I am Jennifer. 
Hi, Jennifer. All right, tell me how you're living in it now. Well, I'm a banker, so, and I've been dealing with COVID for the last 18, 20 months. Yes. And I just live day by day with prayer and concentration to, to get me through it all. My, my faith is very strong. So I trust God in everything that I do. Yes. And today is my birthday. Happy so birthday! Birthday. Yeah, birthday! To New York <laughs> to celebrate. Oh, so, happy birthday! I, mean, I don't think about what's going on. I just That's concentrate it. on what's happening to me right now. Right but, now. Like I said, alive, in, in all things, I do. That's I trust it. God in all things. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate yeah, it. And enjoy your birthday. Yes. Make love. Yes. Why the set? <laughs> Okay, so tell me your first name. Oliver Martinez, Bronx, New York. All right, all right. And how are you living in this now? It's Town Square, man. I love life. I ain't, mad, I ain't mad of the world. I do my business. I'm a DJ. I do comedy. I'm out here trying to push my music back and forth. All right. Positive all right. vibes. Positive vibes. And that's what you're doing. That's how do true. you cope? How do you cope in all of this you know, stuff that's going on? I, I come in Town Square every day and I see people who's mad of the world and I make everybody happy. You know what I mean? There you go. Make sure, like I said, Christ has died. Christ has risen, Christ will come again. So I'll make that feeling back in life. You know what I mean? That's it. That's what it's about. How Now Podcast. Tell everybody how you can reach All right. Me. Reach us at How Now Podcast. Me, I'm all out. See Instagram. Instagram. All yes. right. Thanks, my man. And what trip to Times Square would be complete without running into the naked cowboy? <laughs> Not only did he tell me how he's living in the now, he also sing a song about the How Now podcast. <laughs> it was awesome. Check it out. Can I, how can I ask you, how are you living in the now? I, I'm, I'm the host of the How Now podcast. How it's Now? How Now like podcast. Totally type of now. Like living right now. now, how are we living in the now? How are you living in this now, Naked Cowboy? <laughs> That's what uh, when totally talks about dangerous experiences or working out or running or doing things that really involve your senses. Yes. It kind of brings you into the now, which is our attraction for those things. That's right. I'm usually moody, room built for every damn thing in the world. I'm going to get up and I read my dialogue, what I'm going to be going to have a mind pattern. That's it. But I'm building what becomes the now because I have all that idealism that I put in my reading. That's right. Is what I do here so it helps. To, I mean, it takes everything you got to be in the now. That's right. Because we're That's scared. Right. We don't want to be in the now. Nobody wants to be in the now but we're here. And the more you do it the better you get at it. There you go. But also the wilder that pendulum when you're sitting there when you're not in you know That's your, it. your mind's going crazy because it's, it. it's been kept under a cage for a long time. We've been this far. Thank you so much. Hey. Love you. <laughs> And after the Naked Cowboys performance, he helped me put my mask back on to make sure that I was safe while we were out there in these streets. And immediately afterwards, it started to snow. So it was time for us to end our trip to Times Square, to go back down in the subway and make our way back to Queens, back to my parents' home. It was an awesome time had by all. The How Now podcast and this one year of living in the now would not have been possible without the awesome guests that I've had throughout this first season. They're what made the show. They are my pioneers. They are my heroes. So I want to take time to acknowledge them for their wonderful contribution to our show thus far. First, we have Denise Davis, Denise Gavaya. Karen Shaw and Grace Franklin. They are my Fab Four and they were on my show talking about empathy. Next, we have Zima Lovefire and Bishop Dietrich Avery and they talked about spirituality in this now and the importance of it. My girl, Andrea Hutchinson, talked about cleaning house as well as cleaning our bodies, our spiritual houses. And then next, we had Andrew Cap. And he talked about the law of attraction. And next we have Brian Walters, who talked about the miracle of massage, one of my highest viewed shows for the entire year. Thanks, Brian. And then next we have Caroline Dunlop, and she talked about recidivism and giving people second chances. And we all learned that new vocabulary word. 
Next, we have Cassandra Walter Phil Phillips, Walker Phillips, and she talked about entrepreneurship and the choices that we make when we do that. Next, we have Danielle Cunningham, and she taught us how to get our bodies fit and in shape as we uh, went through this time of pandemic. Next, we had Daryl Williams, and he talked about paradigm thinking and changing our thought processes. And next, we had Norma Stanley and Diane Willis, and they talked about abilities in the disabilities community and the changes that are coming our way. Next, we made every day a great day with the beautiful Donna Briggs. And then next, we talked with Dr. Amina Ali, and she has been on our show a couple of times talking about human rights and talking about building back better. And then next we had Dr. Victoria Sheffield and she talked about special events and how we go about producing them during this time of pandemic. Next we had Ekanoa Jones and he talked to us about making sure that we were unlocking success in our youth and the importance of that. And then when we got our money and our little savings back, we spoke with Equela Brown about novice investing and the importance of that. Then my dear friends, Fran and Karma Coleman came on and talked about uh, you know, taking care of family members that were chronically ill and about prayer. And then next we had Gloria Jade Lawrence and she talked about things that are unsaid before saying I do and relationships and marriage. And then next we had De Dr. Janet Young and she came and talked about the building blocks of nutrition and the importance of having a healthy diet. And then next we spoke with Joan Walters and she talked about planning our life God's way and the importance of writing things down and journaling and preparing. Next we had Keith Miles and he talked about estate planning and that was very important as we had people who met untimely circumstances. Next, we had Mama Yeye, and she talked about making shake arrays and sister circles and, you know, spending that time, our personal time. And then we had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Dr. Marjorie Roberts Crafton, and she talked about being a long hauler and what that meant to her during this time of pandemic. Next, we had Sharonda Barksdale, my girl, and we talked about shadow work and making sure that we face those things that were affecting us in our youth. Then we talked about communication with Nicole Gray from Zoom and how we were having to make new changes in our life as a result of this pandemic. Next, we had Larnica, Rich, Rick, and Ronaldo, and they talked about strides in pride for Pride Month, and we were happy to have them on our show. Next, we had Rache Brown, and she talked about having that beat face under that mask that we're required to wear now and how we can do that. Next, we have Sandra Braxton, and she talked about traveling in the now and the changes that were coming down the pike as far as travel was concerned. And then next, we talked about protecting our peace with Sekhmet L, and she talked about the importance of that. Next, we had Star and Anton Claiborne, and they talked about relationship and how love never fails and getting through those rough patches during this pandemic. And then Tashana Thompson came in and talked to us about marketing and having good marketing strategies along the way. Next, we talked with Teresa Wright Johnson about parenting in the now and what that looked like during this time of pandemic when our children were home with us. Next, we had Sage the God Sist and Zima Love Fire talking about the magic below and relationships in Tantra. And then we had beautiful Tina Greer talking to us about diversity, equity, equity and inclusion in the workplace, something that really became prevalent during that time. Then Tina Torres talked to us about an attitude of gratitude and how things are to be appreciated during this season. Next, we had my husband, Gerard Raymond, and his cousin, Luther Francois, from the Tome Foundation, talk to us about mission work and the work that we were doing in Haiti. Next, we had Yusuf Muhammad, and he talked about emotional fortitude and how we're 
we're to continue in our efforts going into 2022. Then Erica Johnson came and talked to us about spirituality and our youth and keeping them aware of things that are happening in spiritual realms. Next, we had Julian Smith, and he talked about our black boys turning into men and what that process looked like. Next, we had Lori Manns, and she talked about educating, activating, motivating, and empowering our youth. Next, we had Rapunzel Morris, and she spoke to us about the real on real estate and the changes that were coming down the pike, even as a result of this new real estate market. Next, we had Shay Cannon, and she talked about expatriation, expatriation and how there are many who are seeking to go in a different direction. And then finally, we ended with Julie Lamb, and she's come on a couple of times talking to us about Mask Together America. So the only question to ask is, will you be a guest on our show in 2022? You can always go to our website at www.hownowpodcast.com and let us know that you're interested in being a guest on our show. We'd love to have you. So you may be wondering what we've got in store for season two of the How Now podcast. Well, in season two, we'll be taking a deeper dive into relationships, aligning ourselves, mind, body, and spirit. We'll talk with our guests about different aspects of education, business, and marketing, investing and finances, as well as spirituality and religion. We're also going to have author spotlights where we'll be highlighting new and uh, recently published authors. And we'll also have a business spotlight where we'll be spotlighting businesses that have started as a result of the pandemic. And then we'll have a special segment on health and wellness as I receive my health and wellness coaching certification. So there'll be plenty to talk about, plenty of topics to discuss. So make sure that you go to our website, www.hownowpodcast.com and make sure that you're kept up to date on our latest shows and links to our YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe follow and share that as well. So you'll always know when new episodes are forthcoming. We also have a new line of merchandise that will be coming out for the How Now podcast. So you'll be able to get your t-shirts, journals, and mugs as we're going into 2022. So there's a lot going on with the How Now podcast in this new season. And we hope that you'll stay abreast of those things, and that you will continue to walk with us in this now. And until we see you the next time, I say peace. On the Naked Cowboy at HowNowPodcast.com We're living in the now, because that's where we come from. All right. (laughs) It's almost too good. Thank you.